Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. So the last time we had the Generoso's chicken and it was amazing. I'm gonna need you guys to try it, thank you very much. This time I'm gonna be making a pizza that my mom and I used to eat all the time back in the day from Old Chicago. It's a Thai pie pizza, it's like a Thai chicken, cheesy, just delicious Thai pizza that I've had. I'm not sure what it tastes like now, considering the fact that it's been over 10 years since we've been there. She called me a couple days ago and she was like, hey, do you, like, do you remember the Thai pizza that you and I used to eat? I'm like, yeah, I remember that. She's like, you should make it for your next video. I'm like, well, of course I will. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, guys, let's jump into this. I'm gonna mix my salt with my flour and then I'm gonna let my yeast bloom. I will definitely have the directions and the ingredients for that in the description below. Once I was done, I added my yeasty water and a cup of beer and some olive oil as well. And then I mixed everything together and then I covered it for about an hour to let it develop. So after an hour has gone by, you're gonna stretch your dough, roll it back into a ball, and then place it in the fridge overnight. You don't have to do that either. You could always just let it proof for another hour and then you're good to go. Now we're gonna get started on our chicken. So I use salt, pepper, chicken bouillon, dill, and garlic powder. Be careful with the chicken bouillon because it's a little salty, so I only use a little bit. But I will have definitely have the directions and the ingredients in the description below. So once you're done seasoning your chicken, you're gonna place it into a bowl on the side, and then you're gonna get your additional ingredients prepared. And then once you're done mixing everything together, you're going to place it in the fridge overnight. And like I said, you do not have to do that either. You can always marinate it for about an hour, but ideally overnight. And as always, I will have all of these ingredients linked in the description below. Now we're gonna do the sweet chili sauce. This sauce was amazing. It was better than the store-bought for sure. I highly recommend making your own. So we're just gonna get our ingredients finely chopped and I added a habanero in there just for some extra spice and you do not have to do that. You know me, I love my spice. Now we're gonna saute our ingredients on medium heat with two tablespoons of olive oil. And I wanted a bit of a char, so I cooked it a little longer than I was supposed to, and it came out perfect. And then I added some chicken broth, I added about a cup, and then I added the rest of my ingredients that I will have listed in the link below. So definitely look out for that. And then once everything was incorporated, I added two tablespoons of vinegar and cornstarch mixed together. That way it can have a thicker consistency. Make sure you add as you go. So now we're gonna divide our dough. I typically split it evenly, but this time I wanted a thicker crust, so I'll add a little bit more. And then once you're done cutting it in half, or however much you want, depending on which size of piece that you want, um, you're gonna just roll it up into a ball and then place it off to the side. And then with the other half, I just place it in the fridge for another recipe.
So while your dough is coming out to room temperature, you're gonna cook your chicken. And in my case, it didn't take that long because it's hot out here in Nevada. So it took only about 10 minutes. Your chicken's halfway done, you're gonna start shaping your pizza. I added cornmeal and flour to the surface of my counter, that way it doesn't stick, and then it gives it like this little crunch at the bottom. It's really amazing. Fun fact, I actually used to work at a pizza shop when I was 19, so um, the skills are definitely still there. <laughs> All right, now it's time to assemble. So I added a ladle full of the sauce. I grated some sharp cheddar mozzarella cheese, which were very, very good on this, by the way. And then I added green onions, red bell peppers, mushrooms. I also added sesame seeds to the crust. And then I added some more of the sweet chili sauce. And then once I place it in the oven, I set it to 500. That way it can get a crunchy bottom layer and they also can caramelize the sauce on the pizza and it was amazing. This was one of the best pizzas I've ever made in my life and I stand by that until this day. So yeah, I let it cook for about 15 minutes and do you guys see that? Oh my goodness. And then I brushed the crust with garlic butter and it just set it off. And the cilantro was definitely a good addition to this and I also added some more sauce and some sesame oil as well. You guys, this pizza was great. I hope you guys try it. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy, everyone. All right, you guys. I am officially done. <gasps> oh, shit. Mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. <clears throat> Look at this. Mm. Y'all, and look how airy and spongy the dough is. This is hot, y'all. It's 118 degrees outside. And I turn off my AC so you guys can hear it. So I'm like, sacrificing. But yeah, um, I haven't been to Chicago in over 10 years. And it just feels really nice to have that nostalgia. You know, I wish my mom was here so she can try it, but um, she lives in Los Angeles, so. Yeah, but maybe next time when she's out here, I would definitely cook it for her for sure. And then I could possibly post it. Oh my God. That beer, that beer really kicked it up. Mm-hmm. Oh my Lord. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. I know I had one bite, but I'm getting full. Oh, soda water is amazing. Whew. Yeah, if you've ever been to Old Chicago, let me know. Let me know what your favorite meal is. I would love to know. And I could possibly recreate it. You never know. I had to cut the eating a little short because it is very hot in here. Like extremely hot. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. You know what time it is, y'all.